Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Got the HDS-12 Live installed on this boat. Want to do a quick video on just the initial setup of what to expect when you get this new unit and you power it up for the first time. Now, on power up, one thing I do want to comment on and say is the power up is a little slower than other HDS units or carbine units have been in the past. So it's something that we've kind of had to get used to here with these new live units. They do take a little while to power up and also in turn power down as well too. But the, one of the nice features about this is, is a lot of people have called already asking what transducer do I select on doing this installation. As long as you're either using a 3-in-1 or 2-in-1 transducer that typically comes with these units that when you buy them, you will not actually have to go into your installation menu and select any sort of transducer option. They will automatically auto ID and select that transducer for you. Now, if you do run a through-hole transducer or a 2D sonar skimmer transducer, you would need to go through the installation menu and select that transducer for your 2D sonar to designate that transducer for your 2D sonar for when you're up on plane. All right, we've got the unit powered up and it's brought up our traditional warning label that we're used to. We're just gonna hit the accept button. It'll ask you to start retail mode. No. Now it'll ask you to power up all the units to configure this device. We're only gonna set this one up for the video, so I'll configure this device. I'll do it in miles per hour. We'll do lakes, since we're primarily fishing lakes, nothing coastal. We'll do regular fishing on that and then finish. Now it will bring up another menu that'll ask you to register this device. And then on top of that, it just popped up auto data source selection perform, just like it asked earlier, connect and power up all network devices. We're not doing that right now and we don't want to register this unit currently, so it'll push remind me later. The default screen that's going to pop up is going to be your chart selection. Go back out. Now this is the new main screen. Now when you update a carbon unit as well too, with this you will have a different screen on the carbon unit from what you traditionally have had in the past. Now the thing I really like about this on this new unit, excuse me, all the new live units for that matter, and even the Elite TI2 units, is we've got a designation now between side scan and down scan. Traditionally in the past we have not had that and in order to have the down imaging show up you've had to go into side scan and select the view from left right to down. We now have that on the actual main home screen to be able to add. On a 12 and 16 inch unit you can have six screens going across that. Also on the carbon units if you download the new update on the 12 and 16 you can also now have six screens available on your actual unit itself. A couple things that are different from the carbon units, at least traditionally from the past, instead of having a settings over here on the left hand side that you could scroll down and have system, you push that button there and it automatically pulls the system up for you. You've got all the normal features that we've had for several years now on Gen 3 units and carbon units in terms of sonar, chart options, you've got internal sonar channel 1, channel 2, that's been the same on the carbon units as long as you guys have run you know, the 12 inch units bigger as well. So network sonar, multi-source, because we have two sonar transducers plugged into. So there's a lot of great features about this that I like. Initial setup wise, it's going to be almost identical to what we've been used to in the past for the carbon units. But for some of you guys that are just now making the jump that maybe had some older units in the past and are just now jumping up to the new live units, this is just a quick little rundown video of a couple course selections to go over while you're installing your unit. Main thing I really recommend guys, I know you guys have heard me talk about this in your past, this is the same way on these units, get out and use them, leave the rods at home, give yourself five or six hours time on these units to truly understand, you know, especially if you're on a 12 inch unit or 16 inch unit, the quick access keys, program those, memorize those, they're really, really handy. These things are computers and if you don't learn what capabilities they really have and how you can utilize them, we're just going to be behind on the curve. So again, if you're using a three in one transducer or the two in one transducer, once it's plugged in and the unit is powered up, it will automatically auto ID that transducer for you and automatically have that selected. So you'll have side scan, down imaging, 2D sonar working right out of the gate with new and improved active imaging images. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment on this video. Be sure to check out other videos that we've got. We've got a lot of videos coming out on the HDS Live product lines, both on boats, on the water, and actually uh, going through some rundown stuff here in the shop while it's cold out right now. So check us out at RussellMarineProducts.com.